Hi. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Quadrifier Original Energy Stoves. Um, basically, and we want to understand the parts before we go into the operating procedure, and that's the two things you need to know to um, figure out what's wrong with your stove. First thing is the parts and what they are. The parts, there's three of each. There's three motors, there's three wires, and there's three switches and that's about all that's to the stove. Uh, the three motors are the, com the, the um, convection blower. Convection blower is a squirrel cage fan that blows the heat out of the stove. It's just 110 current that runs that as it is in all the motors. Uh, there's the auger motor. The auger motor is what brings the pellets up the feed tube and delivers them to the pot. That again is 110. It's just a regular motor. And then you have your exhaust blower. <clears throat> the exhaust blower, same thing, 110 current, uh, and that is what moves the air through the stove for combustion. So those are the three motors um, in the stove. Convection blower, exhaust blower, feed motor. Now the two wires are fairly simple. The two wires are just the igniter and the igniter wire is 110 also, you can uh, put current to that and then this glows red just like an electrical range would. Uh, the other wire is the <clears throat> thermocouple wire. This produces current. This is dissimilar metals and when you heat the end of it, it produces about 3 volts. Uh, don't hook that up to 110, but that that's uh, that's when you heat that, it produces current. Uh, <clears throat> then there's three switches. The three switches are the thermostat, which you're familiar with. That's just like the light switch, on and off. Vacuum switch. Vacuum switch is just uh, when you when you apply vacuum to this hose. There's a rubber diaphragm inside there that makes the switch open and close. So that just lets the power through just like light switch does only it runs on vacuum instead of uh, instead of a mechanical energy. Uh, and then the third switch is a snap disc. Snap disc is like, just like a light switch. When you uh, apply temperature to this it switches on and off and lets the power through or stops the power depending on the type of snap disc it is. Uh, something that's real handy uh, when you're working on the motors is if you have a if you have a regular cord with some ends on it that you can plug the motors into. Uh, that's all you got to do is just take them out of the stove, juice them up, and if they run, they run, and if they don't, they're bad. Um, so, in order to review, just real quickly, um, convection blower exhaust blower, feed motor, ignite, and the, those are the three motors. The two wires are the, uh, igni the igniter and the thermocouple, and the three switches are the thermostat, the vacuum switch, and the snap disks, and there's three of those snap disks. And that's all the stove, that's all the switches in the stove, except for the brain of the stove, and the brain is basically again a series of logical switches uh, and that brain is inside the control box that's its plastic box uh, on the side of your stove and basically that uh, that is what the switching on and off a logical sequence of events that makes the stove operate so fairly simple stuff um, it's just knowing how what the parts are number one and number two, the sequence in which they operate. Okay, thank you.